Talking Shirts is presented in partnership with White Oak Cottage. For more information, visit whiteoakcottage.co.uk. Hello and welcome to episode number 115 of Talking Shirts. I'm Mike from Hull Car Shirts and today I bring to you a first time ever. This is a 2023 women's Hull KR home shirt. So this is the first opportunity that I've had to be able to bring to you an episode of Talking Shirts based around a shirt that has been worn by the women's squad. So the one that we have got here uh, is number 25 and it was worn by Hannah Byram during the 2023 women's season. Now this one here was also worn in the women's championship grand final but we will talk a little bit about that in a short while. So the women had bespoke shirts for the 2023 season. So these shirts are made completely differently to the way that the men's shirts are worn and the way that the replica shirts are worn that people would have been able to buy from the club shop. To the feel, it feels a little bit more sort of cottony, um, even though it probably is polyester. Before we started filming the episode, I was looking for a care label. Naturally, there wasn't one. Um, so I'm unable to tell you what it is actually made out of. But it's, uh, it definitely feels a lot more sort of cottony than it does polyester. It's almost got quite a rough sort of feel to it. Uh, but anyway, these were still manufactured by Oxen. Featured the Hull KR Club Crest as we now know it in its modern form. But they did have their own sponsor. And this was FTP. Um, electrical testing services. These guys um, obviously decided to sponsor the women for the 2023 season and it's great to see a different sponsor featuring across the front of their shirt. You will notice that there is a lack of other sponsors on here which I think delivers to the aesthetics of the shirt. Obviously we've been able to see this um, in, its, in its what I will call natural form um, that the men wore um, and the form as again that as supporters we was wearing during that 2023 season so it's nice to see it in a much more simplistic form but it does feature the same design elements of all of the uh, you know the icon tapering that went up on the arm obviously the main body of the shirt being red with the white side panels and obviously with the white collar um, so yeah it's a really really sort of um, simplistic design of what something that we'd already seen um, and sort of grown to love um, we would normally expect the Oxen logo to feature in the middle. Uh, this obviously reverts to the right ch chest point um, on this with the not being the Aspire Academy sponsor, which we did have on that uh, the regular version of the 2023 home shirt. As you can see here, and I will pop some pictures up for you, it does say here the RFL Women's Championship Grand Final, Hull KR versus Ulton Raidettes, 22nd of October 2023 at Oddsall Stadium. Now, the Robins was victorious in that game, or Robinettes. But yeah, the women came out um, with, the, with a treble um, at the end of this game. Um, they went on to beat the Alton Raidettes by 30 points to 16. And that did complete the treble for that 2023 season. Um, they won the League Cup and they also won the League Championship as well. Uh, League Leader Shield. Um, and then obviously they won the Grand Final as well. So that did actually contribute to you know a fantastic treble during the 2023 season um, for the ladies. What we'll have a do is we'll have a quick look at the back of this shirt in a moment, but before we do, here is a quick word from our sponsor. White Oak Cottage is a two-bedroom luxury holiday cottage set in the stunning Lincolnshire Wolds. It has two ensuite bedrooms, a hot tub, wood burner, Wi-Fi, electric vehicle charger, and is pet friendly. It is ideally situated in the Wolds, yet only 15 miles from the coast and 25 miles from the historic city of Lincoln. For more information, visit whiteoakcottage.co.uk. And welcome back to part two of episode number 115 of Talking Shirts. Before the break, we was talking our way around this 2023 women's home shirt. And as I've said, this one was worn by Hannah Byram. Um, Hannah has very kindly loaned me this shirt to be able to do uh, this episode of Talking Shirts today. Um, I think she might have been a little bit embarrassed when I asked her. Um, and I was also a little bit embarrassed myself asking. But I thought the opportunity to be able to deliver an episode of Talking Shirts centred around the women's squad and the shirts that they wear was something which was a little bit of, of a gap. Um, in the offering of the digital content that I create. So Hannah, thank you very much once again for uh, for learning me this. I really do appreciate it. Um, I promise I will remember to give you it back at some point. Um, but you know me, I'll probably want to keep it. Uh, but no, I promise, I'm joking. I will definitely have this back to you very, very soon. 
Um, so yeah, the back of this shirt here, so we have got it in you know, complete red. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't feature the Robin icon. It doesn't have any of the sponsors that we would normally see featuring across the back of a Hulk AR shirt. Um, and it just has that very simplistic look to it, which you know a lot of people do sort of love and crave. Um, you know, we don't have competition patches on the sleeve. We don't have sponsors on the sleeve. It is so simple, but so effective. Um, and it just goes back to a time where, you know, we did have that as a sort of a standard across men's rugby league as well. Um, and I'm sure that as the women's game grows and the women's game becomes more popular, there will be more sponsorship opportunities and placements across these kits. So whilst we've got the opportunity from an aesthetic point of view, you know, let's enjoy how simplistic and how effective, you know, these uh, these women's shirts do look. Um, Hannah was squad number 25 um, for the 2023 season. Um, the women are dedicated um, squad numbers, um, especially now as we move into 2024. Uh, we've also seen the addition of names featuring um, across uh, back of the shirts as well. Um, I'll pop some pictures up of some of the, uh, the ladies squad with their names and the numbers featuring um, on the back of the kits. And that's for the 2024 season. Um, and it's just another way of showing progression within the women's game and how they can obviously be, you know, try, as the men do. And I think it's important that, you know, we have a one club mentality um, and having the women's names across the back of the shirts. You know, I, I know that there was, uh, you know, very proud ladies within that 2024 squad now that have got their names on the back of the shirt. You know, I've had a conversation with Carla Nolan about it and the fact that she's got C Nolan across the back of her kit. You know, that really did, it's allowed to be so proud um, and I'm sure our family felt the exact same way where you know she showed them that shirt with her name on the back um, you know anybody can have a number and I appreciate that but getting a name on the back of your shirt as well really must feel like something just a really really proud moment especially for the for the, for the ladies and for their families as well and um, definitely uh, you know a sign of moving forward within the uh, within the women's game so yeah lovely stains of mud and markings on the back of here you know i'm assuming the women will have had just that one shirt to last them through the 2023 season so you know the marks and the mud uh, and everything on here it's uh you know really really nice to be able to kind of you know see it sort of uh sort of first hand um and sort of you know just just be able to compare it to sort of other items that i've got within my collection that compare to uh to hannah's shirt here so yeah um Again, Hannah, thank you very much. I really do appreciate you allowing me to learn this shirt. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a big advocate for, for Women's Rugby League and I like to be able to talk about it and shout about it as much as I can. Uh, ben Parker's doing a fantastic job uh, within the women's setup at Hull KR um, and hopefully they are just going to continue to grow and go from strength to strength um, as, we, uh, as we progress. Thank you very much for watching episode number 115. Check back in another couple of weeks where I'll be back with a brand new episode. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.